front of us we have the Enduro BHM2S. This is a professional ball head. Some of the key features, we have a black CNC machined alloy. It weighs one pound and the payload is 66 pounds. So this is a pretty light compact ball head but it can support some heavy heavy weight, some heavy equipment. All right. Some of the key features on this ball head are we have an oversized locking head with friction control. We're going to get into that a little bit later. And we have a double locking mechanism on the top for the quick release. We have a bubble level. And some of the other features are we have a 4x4, or sorry, a 4x5 by 4x5 by 5.4 by inch dimensions on this. Again, we said it weighs a pound and it supports 66 pounds, which is great. This has a $200 price tag. We're going to come back and we're going to go over some of the key features and see does this really, you know, justify paying $200 for this ball head. So we're going to come back and we're going to talk about some of the key features. Okay, so we're back. We're going to start with the top. Remember we talked about the bubble level. And now here we have a locking mechanism, a double safety. What that means is when you have a nice expensive camera on top and you just so happen to loosen it a little bit, maybe it was on a you know, a glider, it could have been on anything where the angle would have just fallen right off. See if you loosen it a little bit, it stops. So you come to a point right here and here's the secondary lock which really comes in handy, especially if you have an expensive piece of equipment on top. What you're going to do is you're going to pull out and you're going to finish twisting. Once you do that, you can remove that quick release plate. Same thing when you put it back in, you're going to slide it in. You're going to see it gets to that point when you're tightening it. Right there. Okay, now you can finish tightening it. Okay, so we're going to move to that oversized ball head with that oversized knob. You could see there's some friction control. You may ask yourself what that is. That's probably one of the most key features and one of my favorite features on this ball head. You guys have all been there. You had a five, six, seven thousand dollar camera on the top of this ball head. You loosen the knob and it just slammed your camera right down. What this does is if you're going to tighten it all the way, you basically want to have your equipment on top and you're going to want to find that center of balance. You could see right here, this is the tensioner. If you go all the way to the left, that's going to be very loose. So when I loosen this, the swivel on top is going to be very loose, like this. See? So what you're going to do, find that center, tighten it up, and you're going to move this all the way to the right. And now when I loosen it, very tough to move. So we're going to tighten it again. I'm going to go about halfway. Right there. So now when I loosen it, you can see it's nice and stiff. So when you do loosen that, you can have your camera on top and you could just have that freedom of motion without just slamming either way. Great, great feature. Okay. Finally, we're going to move to the bottom swivel. You can see if you loosen it all the way, you have some pretty loose um, swivel action. But if you go a little bit halfway, same with, with the top, you have some nice fluid movement on the bottom. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I really like this ball head. I've been using it for about two months now. I definitely recommend it. It's a solid piece of equipment and you could trust any type of camera or video camcorder that you have on this. Alright, any questions? You guys can comment down below. Thank you. Subscribe.